Oh, God, my guts have been cleaned out and I still feel sick. I don't look forward to another night in those. I had a dream I was on a roller coaster all night long, and I can't stand roller coasters. Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. Captain? Hi, what is it? How long will it take us to get to Elias? We should reach the island by tomorrow night, unless we get bad weather. Any chance of bad weather? Well, as any experienced sailor will tell you, the weather is a freakish thing, and you never know quite what to expect. But no, no chance of a storm at all, or my nose would be itching. What does your nose have to do with the weather? Well, that's a story, be sure of that. And? That's all. It's just a story, and you'd better be sure of that. I'd like to hear that itchy nose story. Why? Because I'm sure it's a real tall tale of the sea, filled with bravura adventures and victories snatched from the rabid jaws of certain death. I had a bad accident with my nose hair scissors, and ever since that day when the weather's acting up, my nose itches. You gotta be careful when you trim those nose hairs. Aye. I've come to that realization on my own. So, your nose itches when the weather's bad. A deep, scarring itch, as from the filthy bowels of the Mojo. Do you know any sea shanties? Jal be thanked, I do not know a single one. Not even a ho-ho-ho on a dead man's casket or something like that? If I went ho-ho-ho on a dead man's casket, girl, the crew would tie me up in the hold with good reason, too. Would you like to learn a sea shanty? No. Actually, there is nothing in the world I want less than to learn a sea shanty. I would rather stick my head up the arse of an Elguan who's just had a dinner rich with beans and light a torch. I feel in the mood for a shanty. And I feel in the mood for a keel hauling. Thanks, Captain. It's actually Captain. Please try to remember, and while you're at it, cut back on the scurvy sea dog shtick, would you? Just trying to fit in, sir. You have as much chance of fitting in here as I do growing a second head, marrying myself, and moving to Coruscant to start a pottery business. Oh, and before you leave, mind you only take two apples a day from the apple barrel. We're running a little short, and aside from fish, jaw forbid, we have no other food on board. Hello, Tan. Are you enjoying the ride, April? I'd enjoy it a lot more if the ground wasn't moving. But the ground is not moving. The boat is. Hey, you try and tell my stomach that. How are we doing on time? With the help of your magic, we are crossing faster than I had ever thought possible. Give credit where credit is due, Lyak. This ship is the fastest there is. I can outrun a shadow ship in this old lady. When will we be on Elias? By sunset tomorrow, if the wind holds. How fast is it possible to travel by sea? I do not know. I have heard tell of a ship that once went so fast it took to the sky and disappeared. From time to time, sailors spot the ship as it floats across the heavens. 
It is said to be an omen. The Flying Dutchman, right? No, they call it bad luck. Keep her steady, Ton. I will, April. Watch! My nose is itching! Are you sleeping on duty again? Storm front! Whist! Heading our way! Looks like a right old bugger too, Har Aye, by the mercy of Jaw, it's a chaos storm! Where in damnation did it come from this quickly? And what's pulling it here? Navigator! Change our course! We must away from the storm front and to safe harbor! Uh-oh. I just felt a cold shiver running down my spine. It's a sturdy, wooden chest. It's empty. It's a flower sack. Sir? Leave me be, girl. I have work to do. We must avoid the storm lest it comes on us like Jaws callous heel and crushes us. But we're still going to lay us, right? Ha! Huh. You can forget about that. We must avoid the dangerous waters of the islands and head straight for Guyenne if we're to stand a chance of outrunning the storm. But I have to get to Elias as soon as possible. The fate of worlds depends on it. And the fate of my ship and my crew depends on us changing our course for Guyenne. Now leave me be. What's going on, Tun? A storm approaches, April. And it is no ordinary storm. What do you mean by no ordinary storm? Look to the clouds. Do they appear normal to you? They look strange, it's true. It is a chaos storm. A strong storm caught in a magical vortex, drawn to strong magic like bees to honey. I have never seen one with my own eyes, but I have heard stories. What have you heard about chaos storms? That they appear only rarely, and that they signify great and terrible events in the near future. It is also said that they are weapons used by the Dark Lords of Chaos to hunt and destroy those strong in the balance. Can we escape a Chaos Storm? If we run fast enough and reach Safe Harbor, perhaps. I have not heard of a Chaos Storm to last more than a single night, and this one is still quite a distance away. But it gains fast. I do not know, April. Will you still be able to get me to Elias tomorrow? I am afraid not. The captain has ordered our course changed south to get us away from the rocky waters around the islands. We are about three days away from Guyenne, but if the weather improves before then, perhaps he will be willing to turn about. But I would not count on it, April. He cares much for his ship and for his crew, and he would not risk it for anything or anyone. You still need my magic to get wind in your sails. The wind seems to be picking up on its own. Thus Nebuvay has no need for your magic, April. I am sorry, but once we reach Guyenne, I am certain you will find passage to the islands. I don't have three days, Ton. The balance is failing. I am sorry. It is out of my hands. I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. 
Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. That's the cargo hold and crew quarters down there. My bed's conveniently located right below the opening to accommodate for those refreshing saltwater showers. Hammocks. 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 They look like a real sailor. Arr, Mikey. It's the apple barrel. It's half empty, and aside from whatever fish we're able to catch, those apples are the only food we got on board. They look like a real sailor. Arr, Mikey! Ugh, gross! People do not toss the apples back into the barrel after eating! Here's a nice plump one. They're awful. It's a glass orb with a strange magical glow. It could be some kind of compass, I guess. Captain? Sir? Leave me be! I have a question about your compass. Certainly. What kind of compass are you using? It is just a normal spirit compass. When we are not navigating by the stars or by the sun, we use this. What's a spirit compass? I forget that you are not familiar with the sea. A spirit compass points always to the magical North Pole, and thus we may navigate according to it. It is very precise, and less affected by a strong magical source. Won't the Chaos Storm affect the accuracy of the Spirit Compass? If the storm catches up with us, perhaps, but I do not think so. Only a very focused magical field in close proximity to the Compass would be able to affect it. Tell me again what's needed to affect the spirit compass. A very strong magical field in close proximity to the compass. Thanks, that's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer.
I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. It's a flower sack. It's a flower sack. Away. Ah, they're awful. Assorted candy. Colorful, no doubt also extremely toxic. Not particularly hungry. Dang, clever worm. Dang, clever worm. A worm. Uh, and this is good because get to it, little guy. Eat your heart out. Captain? What is it now? Captain, the worms have invaded the apple barrel. Curse it be the balance. First the storm, now this. Is there no end to the horrors? Let me see. Jowls infected arsehole, you be right. Those are worms, all right. Vicious, snarling wheat worms driven mad by their hunger for a change of diet. As far as I could tell, that was the only apple infected. But I could be wrong. Good of you to catch it, girl, before it's spread any further. I'll have to go pluck the apples immediately. They must be saved. to relieve you at the wheel for a while. I am not sure if this is such a good idea, April. What's the big deal? I just hold it straight, right? Well, I could do with a short break to stretch my legs. Fine, but I will be back soon. And if anything happens, just call out for help. Of course, thanks. So if the compass was pointing in that direction when we were on course for Elias, and now it's pointing in this direction... Oh, hell. I'll just wing it. Use the Force, April. After all, who's the chosen one here? Ton! Need some assistance up here!
I think I may have strayed off course a bit when I was at the wheel. I did not feel the boat turning. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna miss Gien by a couple hundred kilometers if we don't correct our course. Let me check the compass. By the balance, you are right, April. It is good you were aware of your mistake, or we might have ended up pierced on the deadly reefs of Takate. I will correct our course immediately. Sorry about that. Oh no, I let you take the wheel. I'm just glad we are back on course. Y yeah, back on course. <clears throat> I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass, and it points to the magical North Pole. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass, and it points to the magical North Pole. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass, and it points to the magical North Pole. I have some more questions about your compass. Yes? Tell me again what's needed to affect the spirit compass. A very strong magical field in close proximity to the compass. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. Is it my imagination, or is the storm getting closer? By the balance, you are right. The storm is catching up with us. We might have to ride it out. It is good we are nowhere near the islands, or we would have to worry about reefs as well. Reefs? Nobody said anything about reefs. Tun, I have something to tell Captain, you. Captain! Sir! We need you on the bridge. The storm is closing in. By the foul bowels of jaw, you're right, Lyak. It's closing in faster than any storm I've seen or heard, chaos or otherwise. It's like it's chasing something or someone. All right, listen up. The storm's going to hit in an hour or two. And I want everything to be ready. Tighten the hatches, strap down the cargo, wake up the watch, and by Joe's big toe, someone put a lid on the apple barrel. Those are the captain's... He looks very busy. He looks very busy. It's a sturdy wooden chest. It's empty. Busy.
He looks very busy. Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. What is that? What is that you have there? It's a talisman bestowed with strong magic. What? You put a magical talisman next to the spirit compass? Are you completely daft, girl? Do you know what you've done? By shall I should throw you overboard. Give it here. This talisman has the mark of the balance and of the sentinel. This is an object of great magic. The balance be cursed, girl. What by Charles' hideous countenance did you think you were doing? I need to get to Elias as soon as possible. So you claim. But do you know what you've done instead? You put the lives of everyone on this boat in grave danger. With the storm upon us, the last we need is dangerous waters. Thank Jal's assassin, we still may have time to avoid the rocks of the Briston at all. But I swear by the honor of the three biased judges of Guyen that I'll have you before a court when... if we get to land. Check the compass, Layak, and correct our course accordingly. And don't let this wench touch anything from now on, you hear? I need to place this accursed talisman as far away from the spirit compass as possible. a good thing. It's been a while since I chopped firewood, but I think I'll be able to knock the lock off pretty 